Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Jay Fans, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have another theme team battle. This theme team suggestion comes from Falaki or Fallacy. He suggested a Vegeta armor theme team. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So pretty much I chose units with the blue under armor as that is, you know, the iconic color for Vegeta. There is one exception though, and that is King Vegeta. It's still a Vegeta armor. So that's why I decided to go with him. I couldn't find anybody else. Uh, I needed the youth Gohan from the world tournament, but I couldn't get him. So unfortunate for that. But still, he's a Vegeta and he has his own armor. So that counts. So for my own leader, we have the LR Vegeta. He is for the Pure Saiyans leader. Everybody here is a Pure Saiyans unit. So that is going to be good for a leader skill. And of course, he's a Vegeta. We have buff Goku here. The only time where Goku really uses the armor in the hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, he's actually pretty decent for the team. Provides in types, key support, and as well as attack and defense boost. We have a few in type units. We have Tarbul here uh, with the blue under armor as well. He's an orb changer and he is... A, and he can also raise the allies attack by 20% for his super attack, which is kind of nice. Although I don't think we'll be using that due to the fact that he will be in the third spot majority of the time. Uh, then we have the super trunks. I don't have any orbs into him, so don't mind that, that the star is not shining. But he's a pretty decent unit. He's still not, he still has not got the awakening on the global side. JP, he becomes actually pretty decent. Uh, then we have King Vegeta, like I said before. And then we have Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, unfortunately. We had to double up with the Vegetas here. Uh, he's pretty good from the barber shop, 100%. One of my prized possessions because of how hard or how time consuming this guy is to 100% him. This was a perfect time to do this theme team battle because we have the new Super Saiyan Vegeta on both versions. The transforming one for the Pure Saiyans category for 3 key 150% stat boost. Or Super Class Allies key plus 3 uh, 100% stat boost, which nobody really gets. Everybody is a Pure Saiyan, so... With that said, we are going to go up against the Freezer Transforming event because we have majority int units, so that will be type advantage. I want to see how well this Vegeta, uh, the Transforming one, actually does because this is my first time using him. Although it's not the best team he could be on. Uh, let's just hope that his sheer power by himself is good enough to showcase in this video. Our first rotation is okay. We do have two int units. We do have an AGL unit though, so that's the only downfall. And as you can see, we are going to get hit one time. At the end, I think Trunks does not have... Okay, let's do this because Buff Goku has the biggest defense. Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? Everybody can super attack, which is nice. We have 259,000. Very good decision by me by putting Goku there. Alright. So we do have Super Saiyan Link and all that good stuff, which is really good. Additional normal. Taking out one whole bar. I have no idea what the rotation should be. Uh, I might have to wait till the Transforming Vegeta transforms for a bit. So maybe the LR Vegeta and the uh, Transforming Freezer links well. I'm not too sure. They, they should have like all the regular... No Vegeta stuff, right? Real quickly, before we get into this next rotation, I do want to read up on Vegeta because I didn't really read him. And whenever a pay to play card comes out, I really don't have much care. So, attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional 6% uh, attack per key sphere obtained. That's pretty good. So, bringing Tarbul was a good decision, actually. So, we'll do this, get all of that. I hope that the Vegeta doesn't kill here. That way, the. Or maybe. The LR Vegeta can get a hit in or take a hit. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yep. Alright. Well, utter destruction right here. First phase done. On to the second phase, the second form of freezer. Not too bad of a rotation. Again, I'm just gonna go like this. It's Inton Tech, so even this Vegeta gets a boost from Buff Goku as well, which is pretty nice. Um, not gonna super attack with Trunks. Oh, he doesn't have any dupe system buffs, so it doesn't really matter too much. I'd rather save those purple ores for LR Vegeta or the uh, Transforming uh, Vegeta. I was gonna say Freezer. Okay, take a super attack. Shouldn't do too much. 63,000. Might have to heal next turn. Yeah, definitely gonna heal next turn. What am I talking about? Alright, now onto 
Small buff Vegeta. <laughs> the aspect ratios are not good on this card. Alright, let's go and heal up here. Perfect with the Frieza attacking first. We can definitely get uh, Vegeta's passive off, the yellow one. Got a lot of orbs for the Vegeta, which is awesome. This is actually a very good run here. Tarble is actually mixing quite well with everybody. 1.49 million attacks that... We are not strangers to how much damage this Vegeta can do. There we go. And with the additional normals, guaranteed kill. This time, our own units are carrying me, not the friend unit. <laughs> Alright, buff Goku goes here. We will get him a super attack. Um, hmm. King Vegeta doesn't really need a super attack. And I will do this. Looks pretty good to me. 5,000 damage. Easy peasy. As long as we tank this rotation, the other rotation will clean up quite nicely. 15,000. Pretty good. Vegeta, though, this tech one doesn't take any hits at the moment, so his attack is at minimum. Vegeta is now in Super Saiyan 2 form. Alright, he does get enough key in order to super attack at the very least. See how well this uh, transforming Vegeta can tank. That's if, you know, the LR Vegeta doesn't kill. Nice super attack. There's actually a lot of attack links in there, like Saiyan Pride, Super Saiyan, other stuff that I didn't see. Alright, so we get two additionals. Can we get the luck of getting a... Additional super? Yes. Okay. The beauty of the additional mechanic. And I think with physical Vegeta, 1.3 million attacks, that easy take out. Slam dunk. Boom. Alright. On to the final form freezer now. Ooh, I'm going to use a Yemma here. Just because if Tybo gets super attack, we're probably dead here. So I'm just uh, making sure everything is A-OK. -okay. Look at all these uh, blue orbs. Nice, we got a dodge. And bam. King Vegeta carrying the team for sure. <laughs> oh, he tanks quite well. Oh, that's with the Yammer, of course. Yeah, see, if we didn't yammer here, we would have definitely died. So, reduced by 50%, 100,000 damage. So, that would have done 200,000 damage to us. Oh, man. Alright, I'm going to heal up. I'm pretty confident. Um, that this Vegeta, God Vegeta, will tank. Raises defense, 110% attack and defense, plus an additional 9%. Dude, that is just godly. I it's I couldn't avoid it, you know. Even though we have to not get type advantage tanking, it's worth it. 303,000 attacks that without the 12p multiplayer right now. 1.7 million attacks that all together. 1.3 mil critical. And that's not even type advantage. Then this Vegeta should clean up with an 18 key super. Highly doubt this freeze is going to live. There we go. 1.2 million. Oh my god. Too good. Too good. Perfect rotation for tanking. Um, we can do this. We'll do that. Perfect. And Tarble's going to come out next rotation. So hopefully there's a lot of blue connecting. So we get another like... Semi nuke with the Vegeta. 22,000. Yikes. Goku is still as reliable as ever. Hanging for 7,000. No problem. Will we get the Doken mode next turn? It's over. If we get the Doken mode, it's over. And he's, does he get the guaranteed critical like um, Goku? I'm not too sure. I'm going to read that up as well. 
I love that art though. Like it just looks menacing. Oops. Um, plus digital ten percent. Changes all key spheres to physical key spheres. Okay. Okay, so that's his special thing. Okay. Well, that's nice to know because boom, holy crap. Like that. Yeah, we definitely got to get that Doku mode with the Vegeta. Okay, we take the super attack. Let's see how much he can tank here. Uh, neutral, 46,000. Easy. I'm kind of, I'm hoping we get the critical. 100% physical Vegeta. Come on, please get the critical. I want to see how much damage we can do here. This isn't even his full potential because, you know, obviously he can bring a better leader. Come on! 2.4 million damage and that wasn't even a critical. Holy crap. That's insane. And we finish off with our own Ella Vegeta. So, there we go, guys. That is the theme team battle for the uh, Vegeta armor team. So, guys, if you have your own suggestions for theme team battles, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below, and you might be featured in the next theme team battle video. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay busy. Peace out.